Okay guys, today I want to show you an easy way to find the center of an item that's not a perfect circle. You can see here that this, this lazy Susan that I did um, is not a perfect circle, so it might be tricky to use a ruler or figure out how far it is. So I want to show you what I did with the light burn tools that you can use. Get this out of the way and lower the bed. So I'm going to find something round that I know I can find the edges of in the light burn uh, center tool. This one just happens to be about the same size. And so I laid it over the top. And just by eyeball and feel of where the edges are, I can see that I'm pretty darn centered around here because it's almost the exact shape of the inner cuts. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to lower my bed. And we're going to use the center finder in Lightburn. And we're going to find the edges. There's three points that you want to find to find the circle. So over in Lightburn, we're going to go into Laser Tools Center Finder. And we're going to set our first point. Our first point we're setting off of is here. So now I'm going to move to the second one. Just like you would if you were going to engrave on this one. Okay, then we're going to set our second point. Now we're going to go to our third Okay, we're going to set the third point. Now we're going to jog to center. So now we found the center, and I can tell by the way there's a hole right there. We found a center of this round Lazy Susan, and I know I'm pretty almost perfectly right on top of this other one. So now I'm going to lower my bed because what I want to do now is remove this one. I don't want that one, but I don't want to remove move the laser head. So I'm going to pull this guy out. And now all i got to do is raise my bed up. Obviously doing this prior to engrave. Raise my bed up to where my focal length needs to be. And on the Thunder, 30, Thunder Nova series, it's basically 6 millimeters, so it's the side here. So if I was going to engrave it, I just roll it up. Lower the nozzle. Now that's center and I'm good to go. So I just wanted to show you if you have something that's not perfectly round but you still want to use a center finder tool, that's an easy way to do it.